Rancho de la Luna recording studio and restaurant. Cheers. I ended up here when my friend Fred Drake, uh, who is a really uh, amazing musician and uh, producer and engineer, moved out here to escape uh, the everyday horrors of a city like Los Angeles. And uh, I started coming out here just to visit them to see if I liked it. And uh, Fred and I were such good friends, uh, we decided to start a recording studio here. And uh, a few years later, Hutch and I ended up moving out here to one of the houses. And we've had the recording studio, this is the 20th year now. It's mostly friends, uh, bands I admire, or friends of friends that record here. Because it's not, a, it's not really a business, it's my home. And uh, my brother was a musician, and he taught me a lot about playing music, and I saw lots of girls hanging out with him. I thought that was pretty cool. So I started playing guitar, sneaking his guitar out, and started playing. I was, I was born in, in, around Memphis, Tennessee, and I started playing out at the clubs there. And uh, we came out to Los Angeles. When we first moved out, we thought we wouldn't see our friends very much, but that completely changed immediately because everyone likes to come out. It's not that far. It's only two hours outside of L.A. So. It's been some pretty funny uh, recording sessions fueled by mushrooms. That's always kind of hilarious because <laughs> you never know if it, that's going to turn out good or not. I do have random people stopping by. Usually it's getting up, making some tea, uh, listening to what we did the night before, working on some stuff in the daytime, puttering around outside with the plants and kind of getting it together. Usually working on our cars. We have a lot of cars that need work. A lot of musicians, a lot of people who do technical work like myself. It's not a lot of money to be made in this town, so you make your money outside and come back with it. So in just in our immediate neighborhood, just a lot of a lot of artists, basically. And then the other people are total weirdos like us, but even weirder and not cool. A lot of speed freaks. And yeah, there's a lot of methyl heads out here. From what I hear, I don't know. I've never been to one personally, nor do I care to go to one, but yeah, I, I'm a guitar player. I've got a couple of guitars that I've had for a long time that are my favorite instruments, but I have lots of weird keyboards that are fun to pull out and make weird noises. And you never really, some of the stuff's broken, but in a way that makes it interesting. Yeah, if it's broken and it doesn't work at all, it gets thrown away, but if it's broken and makes interesting sounds, you keep it. But guitar, I have a couple of guitars I've had since I was a kid that are my favorite instruments. Thank you.